So in this video we're going to be going through an example of a Markov chain and we're going to be using a tree diagram to be able to calculate the answers. So the question is, Jess is planning an outdoor party over Tuesday and Wednesday. The chance of it raining on a day is 60% if it rained on the previous day and 25% if it didn't rain on the previous day. So we can automatically see this is a Markov chain question. You can see that the, if the chance of it raining isn't dependent on the previous day and it's given us um, the probability of it rained on both of these scenarios. And it says if it rained on Monday, what is the chance it will be sunny uh, both days of the party and then be rain on exactly one of the days. So the first thing is sort of identifying the thing. So it's, on, it's over Tuesday and Wednesday and then it's saying that if it rained on Monday. So it's saying that it's rained on Monday. So obviously we're looking at the one after, so Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is the one after. So we're going to have to create a tree diagram. So what is the chance will be sunny both days and then the bees rain on exactly one of the days? So the first thing is to get the information and write that down. So it's 25% so and 60%. So you write, so you approach this question by saying that uh, there was 60% chance of rain if like it rained. So this is obviously sure, and then therefore 40% like not rain if uh, if it rained, and then it was 25% rain. So like if sunny, therefore a yeah, 75% chance. Uh, sunny, and then this is for, oh, yeah, like if rained, and if sunny. So these are the four probabilities that you need to work out. So we'll start off with making the tree diagram. So over here we have some Monday, and that's given to us. Well, it, yeah, given to us, and then it goes to Tuesday. And then this goes to Wednesday. So on Monday, it has rained. So it was given to us that it has rained. So as it has rained, we now want to look at these two probabilities, 60% and 40%. So we'll say that there is a 0 0.6 chance of it raining again, and then a 0 0.4 chance of it being sunny. So with a 40% chance, if that did occur, then on Tuesday it would be sunny. And if that 0 0.6 did occur and it did rain, um, uh, sorry, it rained on Monday, and then 60% chance that on Tuesday it rained. Now we need to work out Tuesday and Wednesday, so that's why we've extended the diagram again. So what we do is we approach it, we'll approach it from the sunny side first. Well, if it's sunny, then we now look at this. So if sunny. Now, 75% chance, so we go from, this will be 0 0.75, and then at this point, it will be sunny on Wednesday. Then, if it was sunny, but it rained, that's a 0.25% chance. And as I mentioned in the previous video, rem see how all these always add up to 1. So, if it rained, it's the same probabilities as these ones. So you have 0, oh, let's put that in blue. So that was 0 0.25. And then, if it rained, there's a 0 0.4 chance of it being sunny. And then, a 0 0.6 chance, once again, of it raining. And here, that was raining. So, how do we calculate the first question, which was, it was sunny on both days. So that means we want to look at this here, the sunny and sunny. So to calculate that we must go from here. So if rained on Monday, we don't mind about Monday because we're caring about the party which was on Tuesday, sunny, and Wednesday, sunny. So therefore the probability of it, so like two sunny days, Tuesday and Wednesday, would equal 0 0.4 times 0 0.75, which, yeah, assuming we don't have a calculator, then it will be 4 on 10 times 3 on 4, 
falls cancel gives us 3 on 10, which is 0 0.3. So probability it's 2 days are sunny is 0 0.3, so it was down here. Okay. Back to the second part of the question now, which was what about if it rained on exactly one of the days? So we can leave the tree diagram and it doesn't have to change because it's still raining on Monday. So if the initial conditions change, then we would have to change uh, these two numbers here. But seeing as they're remaining the same, we don't need to change them. So we need to work out the probability of so like one rain and one sunny. And notice it did say exactly one rainy day, didn't say um, more than one rainy day, didn't say at least one rainy day, which would mean different things. So it's exactly one rainy, exactly one sunny. So there are two possible scenarios for this. It could rain on the first day, so it rained on Tuesday. But then if it rained on Tuesday, it would have to then be sunny on the next day because it can't rain twice. So that's one pathway along here. And the second pathway is if it was sunny the first day, but then it must rain the second day. So it'd be along here. So as both are fine, like both pathways are such are fine, we have to add them together. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.25. So we'll take this as a tech-free question as well. So 0 0.6 is 3 on 5, 6 on 10, simplify it down. 4 on t 10 is 2 on 5, uh, plus 2 on 5 times 1 on 4 gives us 6 on 25 plus 2 on 20. Then you times the 6 on 25 by 4 and the 6 on 20 by 5. So I'm just going to take it up here. So it's running out of room, but we want to leave the tree diagram there. So 6 on 25 becomes 24 on 100. So just times both the top and bottom, or just times the fraction by 4. And then, oh, sorry, 1 on, yeah, 4. And then 2 on 20, we've times the numerator and the denominator by 5. So it'll give us 10 on 100, which will give us 34 on 100, which equals 0 0.34. So this is a t more tech-free question. But obviously, if you had a calculator, you could just quickly sub those numbers in. So that's what happens to 0 0.34. Yeah, so using a tree diagram is useful for these, and the main thing is to set it up and be careful of the initial condition, because they will give you an initial condition, or such as in uh, the previous Markov chain video, they'll give you the probabilities, so make sure you're careful about what numbers you put here, and what initial condition, or what, if it rained, if it didn't, and what the initial condition is. Thanks for watching, guys.